Hi, I'm Sarah from KnittingAnn.com. In this week's craft video, I'm going to show you how to work knot stitch rounds on loomed flowers. These are just two of the styles of designs that you can make using knot stitch. In this large flower, I've used it to group the threads together in different designs. And in the smaller flower, I've used it to make decorative coloured circles. I'm using a Hamanaka flower motif card for this tutorial, but you can work this technique on any flower loom. Begin by winding your loom and stitching any type of centre that you like. I've worked a backstitch centre. If you don't know how to wind your loom and stitch a centre, check out my flower loom playlist for videos on those techniques. Take a contrast coloured yarn, or you can use the same coloured yarn if you want to, and thread it into a blunt needle. The amount of yarn that you need will depend on how much stitching you're going to do. Begin by bringing your needle up from the back. You can start absolutely anywhere you like. And pull the yarn through leaving four to six inches on the back. You'll need to hold on to that yarn quite tightly when you make the first stitch. Put your needle under the threads that you want to tie together. You can group the threads any way you like. You can go under just one strand. You can go under a whole petal. You can even go under four if you want to. That's completely up to you. I'm going to start by going under half of two different petals. The left hand side of one petal and the right hand side of the petal next to it. To make the first knot, hang on to the yarn tightly on the back. Your yarn needs to be on the left hand side of your needle. Take it across to the right hand side. Underneath the front of your needle. And back to the left hand side. To create the knot, pull the yarn all the way through. And pull it very tightly. The trick to making these knots well is to pull them really, really tight. I'm going to show you a couple more times how to work that knot so that you can grasp the full idea. Yarn is on the left of your needle. Put the needle underneath the threads that you want to tie together. Put the yarn across the needle and underneath the tip from right to left. And then pull the yarn through. Pulling the knot very tight. Put the needle underneath the next set of threads that you want to tie together, keeping the yarn on the left, put the yarn over the needle and underneath so that it's back on the left hand side and pull through. And pull that knot very tightly. Keep doing that all the way around. When you get back to the beginning, put your needle down through the middle of the knot and pull the yarn through to the back and that will complete your round. You can then darn the ends in the back or you can tie them in a tight knot and put some glue on the back. If my flower is for a garment or something that's going to get pulled around a lot, I always darn the ends in. But if it's for something like a brooch that won't be pulled around a lot, it's quite safe just to use some glue on the back. I'm going to show you how to create these small triangles when you work your second round. In the first round, I grouped these two threads together. When I work the next round to create the small triangles, I'm going to use one set of threads from the first knot and the next set of threads from the next knot, like that. And when I tie the knot, that creates the small triangle. Like so. 
you can see that arranging the stitches in this fashion has created small triangles on the threads. To create the vertical threads between rows instead of triangles, I'm going to stitch together the same two threads as I did on the previous round. I stitched these two together so I'm going to stitch them together again. Put the needle under the threads, the yarn over the top and underneath and pull tight. And there you have the vertical line between rounds. And I'll finish this round off in exactly the same way as I did the other two rounds. And there you have the finished flower. You can group the threads together in absolutely any way you like to create an enormous number of designs. And another thing that you can do is weave between these threads. You can weave small squares and the triangles or you can weave all the way around between the rows of knot stitch. You can also use both sides of this stitch as the correct side. On this flower the right side is the side that you can see while you're stitching. But on the large green flower that I made on a Fiorella loom, which is an 8 inch wide flower loom, I've used the back. I've made the whole flower with the wrong side facing me. And then I've used the other side as the side that I want to show. And that has the threads behind each group of petals and a small stitch showing around the petals. If you enjoyed this video, please take a moment to leave a comment, subscribe or share the video with your friends.